Hi everybody, Mass Boss here, bringing you episode uh, 18, 18 of Mass Boss Plays Portal 2. Congratulations! The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of rests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're 1971 now. Um, ten years later. So we're like, in the next level or something? That is what it appears like. Oh, these tubes. Yeah, that's orange. And that's blue. Proposition beta, okay. Okay. So we're now in the seventies, guys. It's not ten years later. Look at that handsome bastard. Excellent. No, huh? well, why is it getting framey all of a sudden? Oh. That's so mean. Ugh. Well, I need to portal out about now. So that's he. That was still the sixties, but this is the beginning of beta. So this is nineteen seventy one. Oh yeah. Conversation beta. Nice. I need to get up there. Oh crap. Um. Oh, that's lame. That's so lame. How am I supposed to do that? How did I get up there? Ah! Where's my head? So I need to fall from there to get up there. This is so dumb. No, I can't really get over there. How else do I get up there? And then still cast a portal there to get out of this place. Humbity, humbity, hum, hum, hum. I don't know. I don't know. Why is it getting free me? It's not too bad, just a little bit. Oh, I get it. Ready? Do you get it? I get it. Ready? This is gonna be so badass. Oh crap. Yeah. Cast wrong portal, but I still made it. I am such a genius. <sighs> so we were at Alpha before, now we're in Beta. Beta is the orange stuff by the looks of it. Well, ain't that just cool? Exit. Doors are locked behind me. Hey, the logo changed again. See? Oh, well, very 70s, very 70s. Greetings, friend. I'm Cave John, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? Right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. 
You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test related. Okay, so I am under the impression that Aperture, um, you know, initially they had the they had the, the all the the best types of people, all the astronauts, all the war heroes, all the athletes, all, all the top breed of human. Um, but then apparently they're broke now because they've been sued because of missing astronauts who must have died or whatever. And so now they are still doing testing, but they're taking random people off the streets um, and paying them sixty dollars. And that sounds kind of cool to me. The plot thickens. And look, in now it's become seventy stuff with this horrible color, which they had everywhere in the seventies, like this weird browny, orange, yellow thing. It's such a foul color. It looks older too. Oh. This game is so badass. I love this game so much. Okay, I'm gonna have that. That was dumb. Ah. Good, that worked. What's up here? What's up here? What can I find up here? Oh yeah, secret door. If you're allergic to peanuts, you might want to tell somebody now, because this next test may turn your blood into peanut water, peanut water for, a, for a few minutes. On the bright side, bright side, if we can make this happen, they're going to have to invent a new type of Nobel Prize to give us, so hang in there. Why is it being framey? I do not understand. This doesn't make sense to me, but that was kind of funny. Let's see what this one does. The average human male is about 60% water. As far as we're concerned, that's a little extravagant. So if you feel a bit dehydrated in this next test, that's normal. We're going to hit you with some jet engines and see if we can't get you down to, down to 20 or 30 percent. Okay, actually guys, I will do this again in the next episode, but it's actually so framey, I'm going to leave it here. So I'm sorry, but um, I do love you anyway. And I'll try and still got my frame rate issues. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!